Again, what kind of trips, what kind of clients? So B2B, B2C. B2B means agencies, okay? So I can draw it on the board here. I'll tell you how much our business is right now. It is 70% tight end. It is 20% Vietnam. It is like 7% Kazakhstan. No, that was a joke. That's Cambodian. Okay. I'm just checking if you're awake. And then 3% other. A little bit of my own house. A little bit of Nepal. Uh, I mean, a little bit of Singapore, but I mean, it's not. Okay, so very quickly, who are our guests? Guest is a nice word. Customer, mm. not such a nice word. Guest, who are our guests? Yes, well, so okay. where do they come from first? US. US. About 50%. And Canada? Canada? About 20%. Where else? British. Yeah, UK. A little bit yeah. Australia. Sometimes Sweden. Little bit. We've had we've had Saudi, mm -hmm. which is difficult, but good clients. We've had a little bit of Europe, France, Italy, da, da. but this is the big three. That's 90%. All of this, Europe, Saudi, Russia, uh, Brazil, this is 10%. Now, we have two kinds of clients, good and bad. No. We have, <laughs> we have two kinds of clients. What are the two types? B2B and B2C. Yeah, perfect. You know how this business works, right? B2C is? Direct. Direct, yeah. And for example, Jane Wilson. Yeah. Direct. Jane Wilson is B2C because we deal with her directly, right? And we also have B2B. to b to b Those are agencies, right? Right now, right now, Spinal Albino is about 25% percent B to C and 75% B to B. But B to B are the agencies we work with. For example, Frosh. Local Foreigner. That's, that's who we work with, okay. Background in Spotting Albino, you don't really need to know more than we started it 23 years ago doing very, 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 very local trips. Bicycles, motor scooters in we didn't go to places like Phuket or Chiang Mai because to, that was like that's where the tourists go. We went off the grid to remote locations and then started to build the company bit by bit from there. Okay. Let's quickly review what, what the main philosophies are. Here we go. That sounds so easy, but why is it so difficult in this industry? You can go to the Silk Path Hotel, which is $100 a night, and check in, and you get a welcome drink, and you say, please sit down, please sign this form, and then you go to your room. You can go to the Capella and the Metropole and pay $1,000 a night, and you get a welcome drink, and you get a form to sign, and you say, please sit down and go to your room. How are they adding value? How do you make the check-in the best part of the trip? Everything we do, we should think about that. I can go to Ho Chi Minh Mausoleum Madin Square on Google Map, right? I can go to Temple of Literature. I can learn a lot about Temple of Literature. Oh, a, a holy turtle, the son of a monk started this. Oh, the, I can learn a lot. If they go with you, how do you make it special? The bathrooms are on the left, right? Oh, that's not really adding value. That's that's important, but how do you make it special? So it's about adding value. Okay, we support local businesses. It's very important because our clients, mm -hmm. right? That's a good word. Our clients are guests. They're smart people. They want to know, like, where does the money go from local? Are we supporting local businesses, or is it all going to the Marriott International Hotel? Do we support local companies? That's, that's important. Um, 
backstage VIP pass. Our job is to give people that backstage pass feeling, right? Harry Styles came to play Bangkok last month, two months ago, and you go to see him at the big stadium with 50,000 people, and that means you are one of 50,000. And you're, yeah, Harry, and you're singing and dancing, and it feels good. But our customers, they want to be not one of 50,000, they want to be one of one. So how cool is it if you say, hey, we have two minutes. We're going to go behind stage. We're going to meet Harry, and we're going to have a beer with him and chat. So get ready. It's happening right now. And shh, don't tell anyone. And you go and Harry is there. Harry goes, hey, Tim, how are you? Good, man. How you doing? You open a beer, you chat. That moment just went, oh, my God, what just happened? Right? How much would that cost? A lot of money. A lot of money. Yeah. But how much money? Do our customers sometimes have that money? Yes. Yes, they do. Yeah. <laughs> yes, they do. They have a lot more as well. <laughs> now. What if you have a budget of $100? How do you give people the backstage pass, the VIP pass that like, hey, shh, don't tell anyone this. Come here. Do something. But you've got $100. How do you do that? You can give the VIP experience with $100 or $100,000. But the feeling is the same. Right, but that's, that's kind of what Smiling Combine tries to do. All original reduced outsourcing. What it means, why is this so important to me? Okay, here's a little bit of background. When, when I came to Southeast Asia, I saw the tourism industry. We're not in that. We're not in the tourism industry. We're about creating memories, creating experiences, right? We're in luxury hospitality. All of the tourism industry was outsourcing. So you hire a company to do a bicycle trip. You hire a company to do a kayaking trip. You hire a company to do a street food tour. You hire a company to do transportation. And traditional businesses, they were just a collection of a collection of contracts. OK, so I have a contract with a bicycle company for tomorrow's bicycle trip. I have a contract with a street food company for tomorrow's street food tour. They call it a tour. I have a contract with the, the bus to take us to the airport. I have a contract. There's no value in all of those things except for contracts, right? Great. Then what happens to your guest? They're on a bicycle trip with company XYZ, and they say, hey, tell me about Smiling Albino. And that guy says, oh, I don't know about them. I'm just working for a different bicycle tour company that is outsourced from another company. And that company hires another company. So actually, I don't even know who, who is your client? Where are you from? Do you feel like a VIP? Yeah. Not at all. So our job is to try and connect the dots. Left hand and right hand have to be connected, right? Make people feel, make people feel local. And no kickbacks or commissions. Here's a funny story. We had a guy many years ago, 15 years ago in Bangkok. And he thought he was smarter than our guests. And he was asking questions about, tell me um, what religion they practiced in Cambodia before Angkor Wat. And the guests are like, um, uh, Hinduism? Hinduism! Hinduism! And he said in front of the whole family, oh, well done. When this trip is done, I'm going to give you a tip. And you should see the look on the faces of every person at that moment. They, they did this, they went. <laughs> the guy give the guest tip? No. Well, he was joking. He was joking. Yeah, yeah. He was trying to put the yeah, idea yeah, yeah, in yeah. Right. Don't think you're smarter than the guests, right? <laughs> and that's there's an important lesson in that. Commissions and kickbacks are another thing. If you're taking guests shopping, of course, there's always that opportunity in this business. Like the guy says, hey, man, I'll give you 10% of the Great. 
then what? Right? Then what? I always say, if I'm taking a guest shopping and the shop owner says, yeah, I'll give you 10% if they buy something, I say, I have a better idea. Because I brought them here, please tell them you're going to give them a discount of 5% because I brought them here. Now, I am smart enough to know that the customer is smart enough to know yes, they keep it. that, oh, isn't that cool? They just gave me a reduced price because I came with 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 Tien or with, with Lam. That's very cool. Now I feel special. And I was going to give you a tip of $25 for today's trip, but now I feel like I'm going to give you $200 because you showed me that you're taking care of my heart. Right? One of the things we do in guide training when we do like phase two and three in, in Bangkok is I tell our guides, spend three days with me. I'll show you how to get a tip from $20 to $200. And it's all about following these things. It's all about little, little details. So 